Hey, what your students to be doing the data tracking, tracking the reading, tracking the writing, tracking all of the things so that they know how much they've grown over the school year, and also so that it takes the weight off your shoulders, but you don't know where to get started, you don't know how to do this, I got you, let's get started. But all of my students have a data tracker in my classroom. It's a folder that has all of their data sheets in it, and these are the things that go in it. So I'm gonna walk you through exactly what I do. Since I taught ELA, I only tracked expository writing, narrative writing, informational reading, and literature reading, because those are the only things that I would be taking a grade on or tracking the data for. So this is the expository writing tracker. Our scores went from zero, like you could score zero points to 15 points. So there's like um, 15 boxes here so that they can color them in. They write their scores like in August, maybe I scored three and then my goal for next time. So that's the, how they track it. Then for the important part is the goal setting. So they take their score, whatever they scored, and they look at the rubric and figure out where they scored. Okay, so maybe they scored a zero here, a zero here, one here, one here, and one here, right? And so, okay, I did, I at least scored one point in all of these categories. So these two categories where I scored zero are gonna be where I need to focus. Taking that rubric, this is all of the goals that I have come up with that follow that rubric exactly. And so the rubric is broken into four parts, comprehension, and the text clarity, and word choice. And so kids pick one of these things. So this is an example of what, one would look like when it's filled out and so comprehension understanding the prompt what do they need to do they need to read the prompt twice they need to underline keywords like all of the stuff that we teach them how to do when they look at a prompt and then how does this help them and then what score did they get last time and what score are they hoping to get next time and I do go over my students like what is a reasonable score if you scored three you're probably not going to score 10 next time so like thinking about those little wins and then I have the exact same setup for narrative writing so the tracker the rubric and then the goals moving into informational reading so every single standard has its own box looks like that it has a standard on top and then students write their scores in at the bottom so they do the same exact thing if they scored a one they color in one box two so on and so forth and the cool part about informational reading is I have this tips tricks and goals sheet in their data tracking folder and so it has every single standard and it has like some things that they can focus on if that's a standard that they're continuing to struggle with and then I have the exact same thing for literature reading and the little tips, tricks, goals for literature. Every school has like their specific things that they do. And so my stuff might not work exactly how your school works. So I showed you exactly how to lay it out in case that you need to make it for yourself. But in case you want to copy mine exactly as it is, the rubrics, the goals, all of the things, I have this for you. I have fourth and fifth grade done. If you want a different grade level, let me know and I can do that for you. This is available, my teachers pay teachers. And I would say the biggest thing is like, yes, you do have to teach your students how to do this at the beginning. But then as soon as you have anything graded and you pass it back to them, it becomes a habit. Like, okay, I have this graded you go put it in your data tracking folder and kids know the routine and it is super quick after that and I hope this was helpful let me know if you have any other questions